Here is the front of the house. It is super breezy and beautiful today, so I'm sorry if the wind catches in here. I really cleaned up the mums and I stenciled this porch here. I just feel like it really came together. Of silence outgrow the we are going to give you, or I'm going to give you, the final walkthrough of the house. So we just have the photographer here taking all the pictures. It's clean. It's as done as it's going to be. So this will be the very last. We are not going for a walk right now. This will be the very last home tour that I'm going to share with you guys. So walking right into the left. Um, I think... If you've been with me for a while, you know all the updates with the French doors. We did shiplap in here, and then we made this our home office, which the kids kind of took over. Chris made this hall tree right here, and it just brings everything together. The kids can put their backpacks, and it's great. But this is our home office in Florida, and I'm sure most places, I don't know. This was like just the um, front room air like den is that what you would call it maybe a den a gap i don't know what it was called but we used it as an office and then over here obviously we've again if you've been with me and i'm not going to say that anymore um we've completely gutted this kitchen took the walls out this was the kids playroom um and we had the table and everything here this was a wall and we've made this into our dining room so i'm going to show you this I also want to do this video because I want to remember this house as much as I'm ready to move on and be done with renovations and just move on to the next chapter. I'd like to remember these little bitty things because I know I'm going to miss it. I brought my kids home here, so it's definitely going to be bittersweet. Moving in here, we put the pantry all the way around the refrigerator. And here is the kitchen that we just did. I love this island so much. I feel like it made such a statement and it's probably my favorite thing in the house. We took all of the white tile out and put luxury vinyl plank flooring in here and it goes throughout the living room into the gathering area or living room. So I took all the fall decor down pretty much and I've got it looking really clean and we've got our little fireplace there. This is the view from the living room. So down the hallway, I'll take you into here. This is the first bedroom. This is Drew's bedroom. And um, Liam and him used to share and he now he has his own room. To get bigger bedrooms is one of the reasons why we are moving for our boys. This is Liam's room. This used to have the bunk beds in here. Got We did this wainscoting and now this is Liam's little room. These rooms, Drew's room and his room are exactly the same. On in here, this used to be Isabella's room, and now this is a Josiah and Noah's room. So this is one room that did not get filmed ever because she didn't let me in here. But this is the bathroom that we did. I mean, we wanted to finish, uh, we wanted to have that spray painted, but, um, or refinished. We just didn't get around to doing it. She wanted black, and so she got it, and this is her little ensuite or now which is the boys bathroom here is the hall bath or the boys shared bathroom and Chris completely gutted this and renovated this bathroom this is all new I painted the cabinets and that's Carrera marble on top which I would not recommend Carrera marble if you have kids To the master bedroom here it is you guys see this a lot in my videos but it's all nice and clean I've got everything these are new French doors to the outside there and this is what the master looks like in 
here we've got Chris's closet and my closet, which is the disaster. And here's the bathroom. He also, Chris also gutted this bathroom and um, have a completely open shower. People ask all the time, does it spill water everywhere? And no, it doesn't. And this is all new. We had it go all the way up. Well, I also painted these cabinets and then we added these slabs on top. So we're gonna go out through the master, show you what it looks like. Here is the master or the uh, backyard. It's about 60 degrees here today. It feels absolutely incredible. Um, I did this whole little back area as a video and I love the way it came out. It's super cozy and it was just really pretty. We took out all, or Chris took out all of the um, just flowers that were just going crazy over there and just laid down some new black mulch. Looks really good. And then the kids hoop and trampoline. Going into now the living room. You're back. So I am a one tired mama. I was up until one or more last night cleaning the house, finishing a video. They just came to take the pictures. He just gave me a list of more things that need to be done. So I'm feeling a little like frazzled and overwhelmed, but I wanted to give you guys a really quick um, look at the house because this is it. This is the final home tour. The things that we have to do are just like scrub baseboards and things like that, but I'm ready for this new journey. We've been in this house for seven years now and we renovated it and gutted so much of it to make it our own and we love it so much, but it's just not conducive for our family size anymore. Don't you love when dogs want to come in and they run away and you open the door? It's my favorite thing ever. So I'm ready because when you renovate a house, there is a constant punch list. Um, and with me doing YouTube, which is like a full-time job and obviously having a million children, and then Chris is working so much, I'm, we're just, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Ugh, I'm really tired of her laying right on top of me too. I love her so much, but sometimes you don't want them like right on top of you. So, um, yeah, this is it. So I'm ready for the next chapter. I'm really nervous about having to rent somebody's house and we can't bring our stuff. Like it's their house. It's already furnished. So that makes me super nervous, but I am thankful for the opportunity um, that our house won't be done until the latest, earliest could be February, the latest is April, which that's a long time. So this is it. This is the final home tour. As you can tell, I'm super tired, but I love y'all all so much and I'll talk to you soon. But oh, don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching this, subscribe, subscribe. Love y'all, bye.